Hey everybody, how's it going? So this is probably the stupidest thing I'm gonna post to YouTube in the 10 years I've been on this platform, and I'm likely going to immediately regret this afterwards, but those admittedly end up being the best videos. So every now and then, you'll have someone that contacts a business and gets an answer they don't like. And rather than deal with it, they do what we used to do as kids, which is, you know, if we go to dad and he gives us an answer that we don't like, we ask mom the same question and pretend that dad didn't just say no. And every now and then, That'll happen at our business. So about five years ago, there was this very annoying phone call I took from this woman that clearly did not trust me at all. She had spilled water on her Retina MacBook Pro. And after spilling water on her Retina MacBook Pro, some of the keys didn't work. So she asked if we could clean the keyboard. I had politely explained to her that while cleaning a motherboard may cause it to work again if it doesn't, cleaning the keyboard is not going to do anything for a few reasons. The first is that we've actually tried ultrasonically cleaning keyboards before and drying them, and they go from semi-working to being completely dead. So that's not an option. But B, even if that did work, on your computer, the keyboard is riveted into the case. It's not screwed in. I need to destroy that keyboard to get it out of the computer because of the way that Apple constructed this machine. It will not simply come out of the computer just because I unscrew it. So I would actually have to destroy your keyboard to get it out of the computer in which so I could clean it, in which case this just doesn't make any sense. Unfortunately, all I can offer is replacing it. She did not believe me, and she went on and on and on and on and on. for a, I, It was about like a 10 or a 15 minute long phone call that felt like eternity before finally giving up and leaving with like something like a, ugh, and then hanging up on me. So... It was weird because she, she told me you know, her name when she said, hi, I'm this and this is my problem. And then about a minute or two later, I get an alert on my phone from Yelp where somebody messaged me and it was her asking literally the exact same question. I'd like to clean my keyboard. How much and how long would it be? So I was really taken aback here. You're clearly looking to get a different answer from a different person from the company so that you could say, I got conflicting information. I want my repair for free. Yeah, I've dealt with those before. So I was trying to think. What can I say here? What's the proper thing to say back? Now, I clicked onto her Yelp profile and I saw that her last several one-star reviews were for these two different businesses that it expressed in their personal blog or something that they didn't like Hillary Clinton. And she she didn't even actually use the business. She just left the review because she didn't like their blog. And it was some like six-page diatribe on how Hillary Clinton is not corrupt and it's all made up and blah, 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 blah. So... I'm thinking here, what's something, what's some witty one-liner that I can say that will answer the question properly and, and, and also kind of make her, make her seething mad the same way I was mad that she wasted 15 minutes of my time. So I don't know how many of you watched that congressional testimony where, you know, Hillary was asked if she had cleaned her server and she says, what do you mean, with a cloth or something? That actually wound up being the, uh, something that they had on BleachBit's website for a long period of time. So this program called BleachBit, I don't know if they still have it on their website, but they were actually selling cloths for a while that said, what do you mean, with a cloth or something? Right after, you know, dur during this time of the election. Actually, yeah, they still have it up at this point in time. So over here you can see BleachBit, like with a cloth or something. It's a cloth or something microfiber cloth that you could buy from them. It's a program that allows you to clean a server and free disk space and all stuff like that. And that was the program that Hillary Clinton was alleged to have used. So what, what I thought would be funny to do would be to uh, say, I'd suggest using a cloth or something to clean your keyboard. Unfortunately, keyboard cleaning isn't a service we offer. I'd suggest using a cloth or something. And right after I sent this, I wound up getting this call back from her saying, you think you're slick? And I wound up hanging up on her and just saying, fuck you, and then blocking her. Because like, I was just so aggravated at the fact that she had wasted over 15 minutes of my time. This is probably really, really stupid. It's really dumb. I, I, I like it's, it's weird because five years have passed since this happened, and it still brought a smile to my face as I was just going through some of my memories folder on my old backup. It, it, it still actually brought a smile to my face to remember like the, how, how smart I felt at that particular moment what I had sent, which is so fucking stupid. I thought this. I thought I was such a comedian. Look at look at look at the, what what I came up with. Um, but. Yeah, this, this, this is pretty dumb. I'm probably going to regret that I actually uploaded this. But I thought you'd get a kick out of my juvenile sense of humor that I had at that point in my life. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.